Okay, friends, today we're going to be putting our mints together. So last time you were here, we did a symmetrical print of our mittens. We're now going to make sure our designs and our gloves are also symmetrical. We're using oil pastel when we draw our designs, but before we begin that, we need to add some snowflakes onto our background and then cut our gloves out. So for your snowflakes, you're going to use a white oil pastel. And a white oil pastel, you have to be careful with pastels because if you rub your hand against your paper, it will smear. So how I make my snowflakes is I start by doing an X and then I do a lowercase t. And then off of the ends, I think of some kind of shape or line that I want to repeat. So I'm going to do just a dot. And then off of that, in the middle, I think of some other kind of line or shape that I want to repeat. So each snowflake can be unique and different because in real life, up close they are. And that's going to add variety to your work and make it interesting. So by changing the size of your snowflakes and the designs on them, you can make your project interesting. So I'll be looking for that. Are you adding variety to your work? And I'm also going to be looking for, are you changing up? Or, add, or change up the size and filling up the space. So I'm even gonna do a small one here, maybe a big one down here, and then a couple here. So I'm gonna work on that for now, and then I'll give you the next direction. Hey friends, now that we have our snowflakes and we're gonna add a horizon line, and a horizon line is where the ground and sky meet. So I'm just gonna come up a couple inches on my paper, and I'm gonna do a long line that goes across. After I have that done, I'm gonna take my oil pastel and using my oil pastel, I'm gonna fill in that area from my ground to the bottom of my paper. Okay, friends, I have my horizon line done. Feel free to try to use the edge of your oil pastel, not just the tip, to fill your large areas. I'm now going to get my gloves that I have and I'm gonna cut them out. Now, sometimes if you cannot see the outline because maybe your color's blended in too much, you might need to go in with your stencil and just kind of trace everything. So I'm gonna line my stencil up where it needs to go. Now, Miss Palmer probably could have cut these out without the stencil, but I do wanna show you just in case. I wanna make sure I have the thumb the right way on this side, so it should be, probably should be like a mirror image. All right, so now that's gonna give me a little guideline of where I need to cut these. So I'm gonna go in and I am going to make my cutting a little easier, separate the two gloves, and then I'm gonna go around that line I drew. Or if I didn't use that, just go around the outer edge of the paint. Okay, now that I have those cut out, I'm going to draw some designs on my gloves and I want to make sure they're symmetrical. It's going to be a little tricky because you're going to have to hold on to your glove as you're drawing your designs. Um, and you don't want to touch an area on your glove that has oil pastel. I didn't want to draw your designs first because when you go to cut your paper, sometimes you can smear your colors. So you can draw anything you want, shapes, lines. What I don't want you to do is I do not want you to color them all the way in. We created those prints for a reason. So I'm just gonna go in and maybe I'll follow along this edge here on this glove. So now that I did that, I need to make sure it's an exact copy on the other glove and it's symmetrical. In art, when things are the same, um, you're creating sim symmetry, you're making it symmetrical. So now I'm gonna go over here and do the same thing on this glove, okay? I might switch my colors and maybe I wanna do some kind of pattern along that edge I just drew. I'm kind of using the designs I have in my gloves, friends, but you can do something different. This is kind of cool. I kind of feel like I want to do a stripe. So I notice I switched my oil pastel. That's because I know red's not going to really show up on red very well. So I'm getting a different color. I'm thinking about opposites or contrast. Alrighty, so I'm gonna keep going in with some designs. Um, if you wanna keep it simple, like my original, and just do some lines that go across that are the same on both sides, you can do that. But whatever you do on one glove has to be in the same exact spot and repeat it on the other glove to create you symmetry. Can super cute, as you can tell, two completely symmetrical gloves. My shapes and designs are exactly the same on both. That's what I'm looking for in your art. I'm gonna carefully take these and we're gonna to have to use some liquid glue 
because the um, glue sticks won't work. So I have some glue and some paint brushes and we're gonna paint the glue on back of these. So I'm gonna take my glue and I'm just gonna spread it out and paint it. I wanna get enough because I want it to make, sh I wanna make sure that it sticks to the paper. So I'm gonna flip this guy over and I'm gonna hold it there. Careful not to rub like we normally do because we have oil pastel on our paper and that will smear. So I'm just gonna kind of hold it down for a good like 20 seconds at least. Just make sure, it, make sure it's flat while it dries. I'm now gonna take some yarn. I'm gonna cut just a little piece off it and I'm gonna glue these on the underside so that it looks like there's some yarn that's attaching my gloves. I don't know if any of you have your gloves like this, but it helps it so you don't lose your gloves. And it's nice if you're hanging it up to dry. So what I'm gonna do for this is I'm just gonna kinda pull at the top a little bit and I'm gonna peek a little bit of glue on top of there, press it back down for a couple seconds again, and that's gonna hold that yarn in place. If I try to add the glue to the yarn, so see how I'm doing like a little glob of it? What happens is um, it's not enough and it's very difficult to get the right amount on. So by putting it on the paper, I'm able to get a really good amount and we cover it with the gloves anyways, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so now you can have the option to add some little stickers to look like the little fluffs or pom-poms on your um, gloves. All right, friends, so now for this part, you're gonna pick two sticker colors, only two, please. And if you have extra stickers at your seat, please do not take any or use them for anything else because I need them for my other classes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick my two colors. I'm really liking those. If you don't have a certain color, then pick something else. I'm just gonna go back and forth and make a pattern. So I'm placing these right above my gloves. I might have to work around the yarn, but with a pattern, as you know, a pattern is when a color goes in an order. So I'm gonna do green, red, green, red. So it's now in a pattern. So now I have the nice little fluff on my gloves. I'm gonna do one more step, take my oil pastel, and I'm gonna add a couple little circle snowflakes so that I have a couple snowflakes looking like they're falling in the foreground on my gloves. There we go, friends. There are your winter gloves.